I have four pearls for everyone out there who wishes to be in great health. On top of that, to actually reduce your chances of cancer. Okay. Uh, I didn't claim this lightly, uh, but it's something that I'm very uh, serious about. Uh, I teach it to my patients in San Francisco. Uh, and my feeling is that if you follow these four tips, I think you will enjoy better health as well as longer life and hopefully have less chances than the general population in cancer. Now, why I say this, I'll name the top four things first. Oxygen is number one. Number two is exercise. And number three is sleep. And number four is hydration, okay? So let's start with oxygen. Now, we know oxygen is plentiful. Wherever we go, it's 21% oxygen in the air. And you can't get any more, but you can get less. The higher the altitude, if you're in Nepal, you're in the Himalayas, you can get oxygen down to one third of what it is, about seven, eight percent. So we want to have more oxygen. And now, since we are breathing the same air, uh, how do you get more? Okay, so I don't mean saturation now. Uh, I, what I mean is volume. So I have a method, and uh, it's called a SU method. It is a sustained inspiration, but with an unload at the end, okay? Now, let me explain to you uh, why I think oxygen is so important in, in health and in lowering cancer. Statistics shows us that worldwide, one third of the population will die from cancer. If you live long enough, the older you are, the higher the chances of cancer. So that's a known fact. And if you're a male, 50% you will die from cancer in old age. And if you're female, one in three. Okay, so unfortunately it's hard to change these numbers. But if you follow my rule, I'm hoping, there's no guarantee, but I'm hoping in times when you become 80s and 90s, you will be, as a male, be the 50% that survives. If you're a female, you're the two-thirds that survives. Okay? So let me give you four facts as to why I think oxygen is so important. So I look at people who are well oxygenated. Who are they? Athletes. Athletes, you know why? Because they run, they do exercises. So most of the time, when they exercise, they breathe in more air. So they are overall, I would say, have more oxygen than you and I sitting around. Number two, it's a known fact that if you grow cancer cells in a dish in research and you pump oxygen into that dish, the cancer cells will die. And uh, so it's not a good thing. Uh, so cancer cells usually grow better where oxygen is the least. Number three, as doctors, we know that cancer, when it spreads to your lungs, most of the time they'll spread to places where oxygen is the least, like the apices, the peripheral area of the lungs, very low and dark places. And, uh, and last but not least is smokers. You know, and I know that smokers do have more cancers, not only just tobacco. Every time you puff that cigarette, you're going to inhale uh, the tobacco smoke. That will displace the oxygen of the air. So all four things will go towards less oxygen or more oxygen. So my bet is I'm going to teach you this SIU method that will help you augment the volume of oxygen. Now I'm going to demonstrate how, how it works, okay? Four steps. I'm going to do it first and then I'll explain to you why. Number one, you blow all the way out. All the way out. So you exhale, get rid of all the carbon dioxide. And the next three, I want you to inhale. Okay? Every time you inhale, you pause in between five to ten seconds. Show you. My first breath. I hold it and I count in silence, then I breathe the second time. Also, count 
and then again. The last, I keep the longest. I will count up to 10. And once it's done, now you can do this anytime, any way you want. The number of times is up to you. And my feeling is this, when you take in three breaths of air, you are taking bigger volumes of air. Unlike sitting down, you just breathe in and out, no effort. But the air is only getting into your lungs a certain volume. But the second breath, third breath will be much deeper. And that's where the cancer cells will live. If you're a driver, every time you hit a traffic light that's red, you are stopped there. You have at least 20 seconds. So that's the time you do your breathing. And the good thing about this exercise is unlimited. Okay, only one warning. People who are uh, with cardiac problems, you know, your advanced age, you don't know how good your heart is, check it out. Have your doctor make sure you don't have irregular heartbeats or things that are sensitive that you don't, don't want to hold your breath too much. And uh, because by holding your breath too long, it can slow down your heartbeat. Now, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, so check it out before you do it, okay? So I do believe then these are the important parts. So part one is the oxygen. Thank you for viewing my videos and I appreciate your uh, time and effort. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. So in the future, any new videos that comes along, you'll be automatically notified.